A new class of antibiotics has been discovered and there may be more to come. Now, to the average person, that may not mean much of anything. But if we just dig a little bit below the surface, we realize how truly, truly important this is. Okay? So the biggest challenge of the 20 and 21st century has been the rise of bacteria that are resistant to antibiotics. So ever since we developed the first antibiotic, we have been dealing with this backlash of overprescription and overuse of antibiotics creating bacteria that are resistant to it. Now such resistant is inevitable with the current types of antibiotics that we have because like any good organism, bacteria learns to evolve and defend themselves. But we are worried now because a new class of antibiotics are not being found until today. Now we may have to worry a little less. Researchers have discovered a new drug which goes by the name of Texiobactin, which marks the launch of a new class of antibiotics. Better still, they show that even highly sensitive bacteria may not easily develop a resistance to this new drug. This is amazing. So, how did they come up with this idea? How did they create this? Now, the first thing you need to know is that only about 1% of microbes in the soil can be reliably grown under lab conditions. That means that so far we have not been able to study the remaining 99%, which has huge implications for our development of antibiotics. But that problem has been solved by two doctors, Kim Lewis and Slava Epstein at Northeastern University. After more than a decade of work, they've developed something called an eye chip. So how it works is they dilute a sample of a soil and they pour it on an eye chip, which is basically just like a chip like this, which has hundreds of small holes. And these holes are so small and covered with membranes that when they place the diluted soil sample on it, only one microbe is caught in each hole. Once they have isolated one microbe that they've not been able to study before, they're able to bring it out of the eye chip and grow it in a lab setting. So because they were able to grow some of the soil bacteria on a large scale, they were then able to isolate the antibiotics they produced to test if any of them were new. Now one bacteria, which is called Elifteria terrae, sorry, uh, was found to produce the best antibiotic candidate, which ultimately became the new drug called Texiobactin. Okay, now what's so important about this new drug is that is an essential precursor required for the production of cell walls and bacteria. It attacks that precursor and allows cells to not have like a strong wall, which ultimately kills the bacteria. Okay. So this is a huge development. Now while the chances of this drug being suitable for human are hard to estimate, it has worked very well on trials with mice, but the chances of it making from a drug that worked on mice to clinical trials with humans into production, as always, are very slim. But what this means, crucially, is that it has the potential to lead to the discovery of new classes of antibiotics, which may not let bacteria develop a resistance to them. So this is a huge story. This is a big deal. Happy to report it on The Fowler Show. Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe.